Welcome to A2Z Knowledge Adhan. So today what we are going to discuss is all about what are all the various way, the types of executing a cell script. So some people they will use SH, some of them they will use source and some of them they will use dot slash. I just forgot to add, okay, dot slash. So what is the difference between these three, which we can see now. I have already written a cell script. It's a very simple cell script that I have written here, which you can see. Just I need to do a CD to a, di a directory called data and then I have to do LS. So that's what my uh, shell script. So I'm just going back to my terminal and now I'm going to run with SH, SH space, file name, dot SH. So it gives me the output that is in my, I will just manually go for my data directory. I means I'm doing a CD change directory. I give LS. You can see I have two text files. That's it. Okay. When I run it, because since I have given LS, you can see the shell script, which because I have given LS. It's just entering into the particular data directory and it is listing the files. And again, back to home. When I say home, the default path of your terminal is home. So home slash username, we used to call it as home. Now, I am going to run it with source command. You can see when I run this with source command, I'm getting the output, but still my directory, that is my path of my terminal is inside the data directory. You can see that's what I have given CD and the data directory. Then it has to do LS and then it is coming out from the script with the same, whatever the previous CD which I have given in my code, it is there. But if you see whatever the changes I'm trying to do, it is coming to the current shell and the current shell itself, the environment is get prepared when I source it. But when I execute it with SS, it is giving the output and that's it again back to the previous state. Okay. So my whatever the particular script which I have written needs to be get alive until the current shell I am working. But in SS, once execution is done, that's all. Everything is done. It's coming back to normal. But when I give source, it is working as what I have mentioned in my script. So still it is in C. Right, it's not coming out from this data directory which SH is doing. So source and SH, that is what the difference. So whatever you do with whenever you execute a shell script with source, it will be the environment will be get prepared in your current shell itself. But whereas it is straight opposite when you run it with SH. So whatever you execute with SH will be get executed and it will come back to the previous state. Now, what is that a difference for a dot slash if I want to run it with a dot slash I just run it as dot slash and it is quite same like what we do with sh okay so there is no much difference between dot slash and sh now there is one more thing that you can do you can change the directory to desktop okay so from here I have to run the script which is presented in my home directory you can use both sh and but you have to give the full path of your script okay so my C, it will work and even you can give source also which will work but you have to give a full path but you can't use dot slash whenever you give dot slash that means you are going to execute a script which belongs to the particular current directory okay but my in my desktop i am not having any shell scripts so i can't able to run it with dot slash but if you want to run a script which belongs to some other directory and you don't want to use SH and source, if you think like that, what you can do, just give the path and file name of the script. Path and file name of the script. That's it. You don't want to give SH or source and nothing is required. Just give enter. It will return you the data. So this is again, it's quite like uh, equivalent to SH. So dot slash SH and this part is all like same. But only the source is different from these three. Okay. So it is now you can decide which with, with respect to which way we can execute it. Generally, whenever we execute any kind of automation scripts, we use SH only. Okay, because once the particular script is got executed, it has to go back to the previous status. But we basically use this source to execute a file and the particular file needs to be get executed in the current state that is in the current shell itself and it has to be in the same position it should not be get back to the previous state or something once that means once the cell script is got executed it should not go back to its previous status it has to be in the current status until i close my terminal that is where people will use this source Okay, so thanks for watching a2zknowledge.com. If you really like this video, please subscribe my channel and forward this video to your friends and colleagues. 
We provide videos in two languages and various technologies, English and Tamil. Thanks for watching A2Z Knowledge.com.